Investigator Scotty Hunter's new reporting tonight on that Kia apparently driven for hundreds of miles after being dropped off for repairs. The Sheriff's Office explaining today where their investigation stands and a number of attorneys disagree with that. Our Scotty Hunter learns exactly where that Kia was going as it zigzagged now across two parishes. It's the ride that would not quit. Based on these records obtained by the WAFBI team, we now know just where an employee from All Star Kia of Baton Rouge was headed when they racked up more than 220 miles behind the wheel of a truck that Gracie Gallman dropped off at the dealership for repairs earlier this month. Why does your employees take people's vehicles? and drive them like it's their personal vehicle. Between February 1st through the 7th, this data from Gallman's truck reveals the rides were all over the place. One day, the truck was driven to the racetrack gas station in Prairieville, then to Frank's Restaurant and Perkins Road. On another day, it dropped by the Rouse's in Prairieville. From there, it was taken to Government Street at South 17th, then to Town Center and the East Bank Shopping Center all in one day. According to the data, the next day, whoever was behind the wheel of Gallman's truck spent time at the Prairieville Walmart. And the day after that, it popped up at the Cortana Walmart and made yet another stop at Frank's restaurant. While the East Baton Rouge Pier Sheriff's Office says their investigators believe this is a civil matter and not criminal, we took it to former prosecutor and well-known local attorney Franz Borgard, who disagrees. Borgard, who is not involved in this particular incident, says he believes the miles put on the vehicle were excessive. It's called unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. At several times on this log, the truck would go back and forth to All-Star Kia, but it would also end up at this home in Prairieville. That's where it was, backed into the driveway the night Gallman tracked it down and started recording. Now I'm locking my door back on my truck that's in Prairieville, Louisiana, that should be at All-Star Kia Baton Rouge on Segan Lane. That's not Kia. So if you violated me, you violated someone else. It's just that this time, they got caught. When we started asking questions about the trips and the $300 management at the dealership tried to offer up to make it right, the owner of All Star Kia told us what happened was against their policy and that disciplinary action had been taken against the employee responsible. Borgard says the fact that the dealership took action is telling. If he had done nothing wrong, they wouldn't have disciplined him. The answer would be, well, ma'am, look, we have to do this to repair your car. They didn't do that, and I'm frankly disappointed and shocked that this employee has not been charged or arrested yet. Gallman did get law enforcement involved, and the sheriff's office said they believe this is a civil matter, not a criminal case, because there's implied consent that the dealership will drive your car to diagnose a problem once you drop it off, whether you sign anything or not. One of the issues with the truck was malfunctioning headlights, and today the sheriff's office said the dealer told them the employee did not find a problem with the headlights, so he continued driving the vehicle to try and replicate the problem. It's worth pointing out, though, the log shows the vehicle was also being driven during the daytime hours by whomever was behind the wheel. Borgard says if that was the case, he believes the customer should have been updated throughout the process. Certainly, at a bare minimum, they should have called her and said, look, we've driven the vehicle, maybe for 20, 40, 30, 40 miles. We can't seem to find out what's wrong with it, but we're gonna to continue to do it. But we're letting you know that so that when you get the vehicle back, if you see that there's some miles on it, we're working on trying to repair it. So what exactly are your rights if you drop your vehicle off for repairs? And how far can workers at a dealership drive your vehicle in the name of diagnosing a problem? Borgard says it's a lot less than what happened in this case. 200 miles on a vehicle is not reasonable for the purposes of repair. What he's doing after hours with the vehicle far exceeds implied consent. The sheriff's office says whether or not this is a good business practice is not a criminal matter. While All Star Kia would not identify the worker who took the rides and would not tell us exactly what disciplinary action was taken, Borgard says he wonders what's being done to make sure something like this does not happen again. I think that this story is going to alert a lot of dealerships and a lot of repair places that they need to be vigilant with their employees. And a consumer is going to be watching. And maybe that's going to get the dealerships to be watching as well. Now, we do believe we know the name of the employee who was behind the wheel of that truck, but have been unable to reach that person for their version of things. Greg? All right, Scott.